Hey guys, so today we are going to review for our test. We have a test tomorrow on heat transfer and matter. So these are two different standards that we've covered. They're short standards, so we're going to put them in one test. So I'm going to review heat transfer in this video, and in the next video, we are, we are going to review matter. So let's see, so what is heat? So heat is the quality of being hot. It's a form of energy caused from the random motion of the molecules in the substance. Um, so the verb would be to make or become hot or, war or warm. Some synonyms would be hot, warmth, and thermal. Antonyms are the opposite of the word would be cold or cool. So how heat moves? Heat moves from hot to cold always. There are three types of heat transfer. So heat moves from one object to another object in three different ways. The first way we're going to talk about is conduction and then convection and then radiation. So first with conduction. Conduction is heat moving by directly touching another object. So how you can remember this would be direct touch. So you see this example down here. You have a pot that is directly on this hot stovetop. So this pot is directly being warmed by the stove. Some examples are a pot on a stove, which we have here, or burning your hand. So if you accidentally touch the stove iron, stove iron, stove um, top, you are going to burn your hand, and that is through conduction. We also have a spoon in a bowl of soup. So if you put a metal spoon, because metal is a good conductor, into a bowl of soup, and that soup is really hot, the spoon will also start to get hot. And then walking on hot sand. So your feet are directly touching the sand. So that is going to be in the form of conduction. The next one we have is convection. So convection is heat moving through liquids and gases. So this will happen with fluids and gases. Um, how to remember liquid and gases, air and water. So examples are a hot air balloon. So that heat is circulating through convection, boiling water, sea and land breezes, earth's mantle, and an oven, not the stove top, but the an oven. So that heat is circulating within the oven. Radiation is our next one. So this is heat moving through electromagnetic waves. How to remember, so we have the sun, fire, and heat waves. So some examples are the sun. When you walk outside, you can feel the sun on your face on a nice summer day. If you're sitting by a campfire or um, like your fire in your house, maybe. Um, what's that called? Fireplace. If you're sitting by your fireplace in your house, if you have one of those, you can feel the heat coming off the fire. A microwave is warmed up through radiation and then lamps. So you are not directly touching the sun or directly touching the fire, but you can still feel the um, warmth from it. So when we put it all together, conduction is the pot is touching the stove or you accidentally touch the stove with your hand. Convection is the air above the pot warms and rises or the um, liquid within the pot is circulating. Um, also, here's another example for conduction. If you have a, um, if you heat up some food and the plate, your plate is really hot and you put that plate on the countertop, that plate's heat is going to lose its heat and transfer that heat to the countertop. So the countertop is going to get warmer. Radiation, it would be the fire from below the pot. So you can stand next to the stove and feel the heat coming off of the stovetop without actually touching it. So next we're going to talk about conductors and insulators. So conductor is a material that easily allows heat to pass through. Examples include metals, copper, 
pan, pots, baking sheets, and wires. So I want you guys to really remember metals and copper because these two will most likely be on your test. Um, so metals and copper are good conductors because the heat is easily allowed to pass through them. Some not so good conductors would be uh, like foam, like a foam cup and wood. Some insulators is material, material that does not easily allow heat to pass through. So like I said, wood, um, foam is another one that should be on this list. Glass, ceramic, plastic, wool, jackets, and blankets. All right, so that is all we're going to talk about for heat transfer. I want you guys to remember conduction is directly touching when you directly touch something or um, a one solid touches another solid and it has heat transfer, so it's direct contact. Radiation is not from direct contact, it's from the sun or a fire. You can feel the heat coming off of it. Convection happens in fluids and gases and it's the circulation of heat. Some good conductors are copper and metal. Some insulators or not so good conductors would be foam and wood. So make sure you know all that information for your test. Thank you.